，我背我，开始比你啊啊比比背我。Hey everyone, it's out of four. Back at it again with another video, and welcome. To my channel, if you're new here, and if you're not, then welcome back to Edo Numo Four. I just started unpacking everything. My wisdom teeth has been removed, but once this video is over, I have to pack up again. But before we get to that, in today's video, we are going to talk about the Hong Kong artist named Coco Lee. Like usual, I will talk about the artist's history, the best of my knowledge. While speaking in the best of Chinese, but not just Chinese, this time is in Cantonese. But like I said before, the subtitles will be in not only in Cantonese but French, Korean, and English at the same time. So let's begin the Coco HK experience. <music> Coco was born as Farin Lee on January the seventeenth in nineteen seventy-five in British Hong Kong, and happy late birthday! She was raised in Hong Kong and San Francisco by the age of nine, with her two older sister named Nancy, who is her manager, along with Carol, and her single mother. She has passed from elementary to high school. But has left the University of California to pursue music. In the year of '92, she accidentally crashed her mother's car and has entered the 12th New Talent Singing Award. She won the first place by singing the late and great Whitney Houston's "Run to You." She not only won the money to pay her mother back, but also gained a record company called Capital Artists. And this is how we move on to the next chapters of songs from Coco Lee. Her first album, translated as "Love from Now On," released on the fifteenth of June in nineteen ninety four on Fancy Pie Records. The second album, released in the winter of that same year, is "Dang Yang Wu." Promise me. Promise on December the twenty third. Her third album is called Brave Enough to Love. Had the courage to come out on the twelfth of June in nineteen ninety five. This has a lot of English covered song, but it would not be her last album that would have the English format. The last album released on Fancy Pie Records is translated as Woman in Love, released on the same year. On September the third, from that point, she released her first concert, translated as "You're in My Heart," and offered another contract with Sony Music Taiwan and started the new journey there. The fifth album, its self-titled, was released on June the fourteenth in nineteen ninety-six. This would be her first album that was the high ranking, but it wouldn't be the last. The sixth album is called Coco's Party, celebrated on the same year on November the twenty-fifth, and this is her second English-covered album, except for It's a Party. The seventh album release is called May Yeshi Yangni, Sincere, sold on May the fourteenth in nineteen ninety-seven. One of the songs translated as My Wings. Featured her sister Carol and Nancy, and the first but not last Cantonese album released from her mother tongue. Eighth album Coco released on the same year on the tenth of November. The second to last year of this chapter is called Di Da Di Hints. It gave clues on the New Year's of January thirteenth of nineteen ninety eight. Last album for this chapter is her tenth album, "Sunny Day," released on the summer days of thirtieth June. 
On our next chapter, this is where Coco branches outside of the mother's market and goes global. Before we go into Coco's first American album, there's one more album re left released in 1999, and that is called Jintai Dao Yangguan. From Today Until Forever was released on the 27th of May in 1999. During this time, she has done a benefit concert for, the, for Michael Jackson called Michael Jackson and Friend in Seoul, Korea. This has possibly caught the eyes of Sony Epic America to release her first album in America since the company saw her progress in Korea and Hong Kong. And the release of the 21st Century and 99 is Coco 11th album, Just No Underway, released on November the 2nd in Asia and February the 29th in America on Epic and 500 Records, which makes it the first album that Coco released in America. But it wouldn't be the last, also making it to the 84th place on the Billboard charts. Before I Fall in Love became the soundtrack of the movie Runaway Bride. Can't Get Over featured Kelly Price. The album title has a remix with JYP. And Do You Want My Love became the biggest charted single from her 11th and first album. Speaking of JYP, he will not only be mentioned again, but also she promoted this album in Korea and Japan as well. It has been a hard process at first because of the speed of working from her albums, but at the end of the sun, she got it done and now we move on to her 12th album. The 12th album, Zinkwing Ren, You and Me, The True Lover, You and Me, released on the 24th of August 2000. The 13th album, Promise Coco, was promised on October the 12th of 2001 and featured an artist named Jay Chow. This artist has begun a year before and now with his second album, Fantasy, released at that time. He is from Taiwan, born in the 18th of January, 1979. Happy late birthday to you too and everyone else at this time as well. The 14th is the second but not the last album for this chapter but also the last album released in america called exposed released on the 25th of march in 2005 this album featured the indian rapper named blaze korean musical group god and jyp with not only a dream of love but literally half of the track has him and god as well and she was in two movies translated as No Tobacco and Master of Everything. Now we get to move on to the third to last chapter, The Aftermath. How is things going from 10 years to now? During these times, she released three albums. First is Yao Ding Ni, I Just Want You. Wanted in the 22nd of September in 2006. Second to last album, East to West. Traveled in August the 14th of 2009. Last album is Illuminate, lit up on the 31st of May in 2013. During these times, she is still touring, host of many musical talented shows, released a recent song in 2019 called Fancy, and still active now. Which brings us to, why do I like Coco Lee? What I loved about Coco's journey was she knew how to change her style and fashion along with the music too and becoming outgoing with herself reaching the international audience too. If you don't believe me, Here's a quote of her from 1999 on a Korean television show. Well, I think it's about time because uh, in this international music world, there's never been an Asian successfully crossed over. And hopefully, 
you know, with me opening this door, eventually we'll see more Asian artists out there in the world, really making us very, very proud. Now it's that time again where I speak another language on how I first listened to Coco Lee. Wish me luck. Watinjo kona way yoshu dra dang toshi sh resuni wong dang shi shidi shwe wo jani shi koko shin chan no li make wo shin chan kai shishi mei yiji goji shan fun fact look he shishi Wo di ting dao ni shu go do you want my love riju nana shu ji shi shi ming wei de jimu de beijing jong ruben idol on stage ruben idol wo seiji wu tai cheng ok sai ruben in 20 coconuts musume jong sei ju shi Jong si juju wo. Wo dang shi sang sui. Dang wo shi koko sha ju dao shi kong shang guai. Ji dao koko ji shi zhang ji sincere. Wo di dao mo hi kai jo yi do you want my love? Canada. He may go yin yui ping dao the box. Dang shi ni kei bo dao hu fa shong dang shi yu jang i rini ni zeng di kai yu shipping. Yin jang trl. Bo shin ji gai ping dao ting jang yi lai yang ji. Go kui rishi nang chong nai shishi shu yi er nai ya la ga ping dao sing dao de nan ying wang do you remember the box ni ha jur dama the box zhao zen yi wei koko li Shijo Shiswe Mego Didao Kai Yi Wei Yazo Yi Surja SHE and Shonen Knife Yuya Shori Koko Li Wo Yi Wang On June the 15th, Koko Li Day will be celebrated. Happy early 28th anniversary to you. Keep doing your best. Ying Wang Wu Ho as for sure. Before we get to shout outs, here is one of my favorite songs from Coco Lee, and they are the cover of Never Been to Me and I Love Your Smile, Coco's Party, My Wings, Superman, Blame the Pop Music, Do You Want My Love, Can't Get Over featuring Kelly Price. Don't You Want My Love, Crazy Ridiculous, So Crazy, Cool, Party Time, fan Fancy, and my recent favorite song, I Will Be Your Friend, which will be explained later. While I was growing up, the biggest things I've seen that cross over successfully of Asian markets before YouTube, as far as I can remember, is Japan, China and Korea. I am very happy at the end of the day she paved the way for artists like her to be international while being herself. Another artist I like to add for that note is a Japanese singer named Yutada Hikaru was in the same boat with her. And here's a response of her of 10 years ago of what is music like from that time. The internet has made music worldwide. That means you can be in a very, very small city. Then maybe no one's ever heard of this city. Mm -hmm. But if you have internet and you're able to put your music onto YouTube or Youku, the whole world can listen to your music. So yeah. it's, it's a good thing as well. On that note, I'm very happy she made her presence known for 
everyone around the world to see. And from that note, we move on to the sponsors for this video. Alright, our shoutouts for this video goes to VTuber Neon Susan, Japanese POV Show, Zipliki, GB Bez, Enzu Sky Chibimation, AO, JRM Zur, The Break Room, Haru, Mixture, Quincy Davis, Enderman Channel, Stores, ah, Stars Worldwide, Robert Malau, Testy, Nardo P, Sin Apps Music, M5 Vibe, Vave, Koto the Friend, and two old shoutouts, Chris Burns and Jalen. Of course, the one and only Coco Lee. Thank you all for enjoying this video. The reason why I did a dedication moment at the beginning is because a recently a good friend of mine from Louisiana named Donnie Lacombe recently added me as a friend on Facebook. It's been a little while since we contacted each other, let alone face to face. I found all my friends once again, except one, and his name was Alex Hall. He was born a year before me. I met him at the same time I met Ronnie Karras, 72, AKA PJ in the third grade. Recently, during the makings of this video, along with the Lunar Near Year, he has passed away from an accidental medicine intake. So I'm going to take a bit of our time to share one of our greatest memories together before I end this video. One of the memories I can remember was during my last days of high school before I went to California, he gave me a pizza and corn preets along with a cookie and cream pocky from Glico. My very last memory that I can remember that we had a contact with of uh, texting each other, of even communicating was last year on Vine in 2016. During this summer, he was asking me what we wanted to do once we graduated from high school. And I typed back, I'm gonna go to try to go back to film school in California and if that doesn't work out, I'm going to go to film school somewhere else. And he replied back, I'm going to just chill here. Nah. I'm going to chill here. Good luck. And that was the last time we talked. Don't, don't worry. I, I told him good luck in Louisiana as well. Honestly, the, the next year after that, I was trying to invite him for my 20th birthday that time but he was unavailable but the one thing i remember that i really counted on is that eventually i would see all my friends from facebook and thankfully in a bittersweet moment i pretty much did and once again deepest apologies for not reaching all of you from louisiana sooner the reason why I really dedicated this video to him, not because he's really a good friend of mine or in Japanese, my tomodachi, but I felt like if he would have known what Coco Lee looked like, I guarantee he would have fell in love with her, no doubt. So, so long, my chigun, my oru, my pun pun, my doboni. And my grieving condolences goes to your family and friends that I have and have not seen before. Have fun in the clouds, my guy. Here is a song for not only you, but also to my old and new friends of a song from Coco Lee called, I Will Be Your Friend.
for my support and dedications to you all. And this song also describes who I am as a person as well. Now, coming soon is my 14th podcast episode, either right the second or later in time. And what's going to come up even later, because I got to be in a different location, is uh, for my main channel. Next time, I'm going to talk about the Korean group, Flinko. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Happy New Year's of the Tiger of 2022 to all my friends around the globe and state. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I got to go pack up again. So I love you all. Zazen, and I'll see you all again. Share, share, my friends. Welcome to Edo Numo 4, if you're new. But if you're not, then welcome back to my name, Matt. Before I nah, can. on today's video, we are going to be talking about Coco Way. During each time she released. I just started unpacking everything, my wisdom to, ah, come on. And of course, the one and only Coco Lee. And also, In today's video, we are going to talk about the Hong Kong artist named Coco Lee. It gives clues on the next year. Uh, mm. it, thank you all for enjoying this read. Ah. She was raised in the Hong Kong and San Francisco. Ah. Yeah. And of course, the one and only, uh, and of course, the one and only, Coco Lee. Of course, the one, and of course, from Chet. She was raised in both Hong Kong and San Francisco, California, but, boy. And he is Oh, come on, man. With her two older sisters named Nancy, who is her manager, along with Carrot. Oh my god. She. I am happy that at the end of the day, she paved the way for artists like her to be international. In mm. Excuse me. Like usual, I will speak about the artist's story from the beginning. Uh, come on, I want to get this right, man.